at the top is tire diameter and rear axle ratio. These are used to calculate the vehicle speed and what shows up on the speedometer on the dashboard. The speedometer limit, not to be confused with the vehicle speed limits, is simply how high up the speedometer reads. Right now it's 35. If we set it to 45, you can see the dashboard now goes up to 45. Speed limits. There's a forward RPM speed limit and a forward miles per hour speed limit. You can set either one and the other one will be calculated. For reverse, there is a reverse RPM speed limit and a reverse mile per hour speed limit. Changing either will change the other. Input thresholds. Throttle minimum is the minimum voltage required for the throttle to start moving the vehicle. The brake minimum is for RXVs only and is the minimum voltage at which, when you press the pedal to begin braking the vehicle. Nominal battery voltage is settable to the nominal values 36, 48, or 72. We also provide the main solenoid voltage is programmable and should be set to whatever the solenoid voltage is rated to, which is written usually on the side of the solenoid. Under advance, we allow an analog brake gain. This is just for RXV vehicles and changes the stiffness of the brake pedal. A one it would be low, a two would be very high. It's defaulted to 1.5. The other option is disabled. For vehicle direction, the rear axle of Cub Car precedents are mounted in the opposite direction than a TXT Easy Go. These are for our AC conversions. For RXV, these should be correct. If the vehicle moves smoothly but in the wrong direction, both of these settings should be switched at the same time. Change wheel speed sensor direction for a club car is turned off. Motor direction for a club car is turned off. For a little off-road performance, the throttle positive ramp rate shows the torque ramp rate. The maximum acceleration shows the maximum torque you will ramp to. The anti-rollback is a uh, feature for high gear ratio RXVs. Under vehicle information, you can press any of the radio buttons to log vehicle performance. If you hit start data log, once logging begins, you can see the state of whatever buttons you pressed. There's a start and stop button at the top. Information cannot be saved, but can be shared with Navitas Engineering via the cloud button at the top right of the page. Or you can take a individual screen captures.